Ribs are another sketched base feature that you can create in SolidWorks. Just like any other sketched based feature, a rib requires a 2D sketch. I'm going to choose the top face of this model as my sketch plane. Notice that I'm only sketching a single line. This is all you need for creating a rib. The other thing to note is that the endpoints of the line don't have to connect to the surrounding geometry. SolidWorks will automatically extend the rib to the surrounding features or faces. Once the sketch is finished, I can start the rib command by selecting it from the Insert Features drop down menu, or I can click the rib icon on the Features Command Manager to open the Rib Property Manager. Here you can edit things like the rib's thickness, extrusion direction, or add a draft. When specifying the thickness, I can add the rib material to either side of my sketch line, or can add it evenly to both sides. I'll add it evenly to both sides. Next we can choose the extrusion direction and its orientation. Notice the direction of the arrow as I select between parallel and normal to sketch. Make sure the arrow is facing in the direction you want to add material. In this example, I'll extrude the rib to be normal to the sketch, and I'll want the direction arrow to face the model. If the arrow is facing in the correct orientation, but is facing the wrong direction, you can use the flip direction checkbox to point it towards the part or away from it. If I wanted to add a draft, I could simply click the draft icon and enter a degree value, but we'll skip that for this example. To finish up, I'll click the green check and the rib will be added. Let's look at another example using the parallel to sketch option instead of the normal to sketch option we just did. For this example, I'll select the right plane as the sketch plane for the rib. And again, I'll select a single line. I'll continue by clicking the rib icon to bring up the rib property manager. For the extrusion direction, I want to make sure the arrow points towards the rest of the part geometry by using the parallel to sketch option. Notice the direction that the arrow is facing with this option. Last time with the normal to sketch option, the arrow was either pointing directly towards us or directly away from us. Remember, the arrow should point in the direction where we want to add material. I'll add material evenly to both sides with a thickness of 0.10 and finish up by clicking OK. Let's go through one more example, except this time we'll use a more complex sketch. For this example, I've already created this sketch that has a couple lines and a circle on a plane that was offset from the top surface of this model to be used for a rib feature. I'll click the rib icon. Just like before, I'll give it a thickness of 0.10 and add it on both sides of the sketch segments. We want the arrow to face towards the model, so the extrusion direction should be normal to sketch. I'll click the green check to finish up and the rib is added.